In this lesson, as you already know how to make the profile, we might do a few different profiles and then we will check which one is the best. And I have a few really nice images. This, as you can see, sunset coming in Cape Town. Here, a beautiful holiday image. Maybe not so beautiful because we have a little bit too many people from Mauritius and some other images. Perfect for creating nice color profiles for your photography. So let's start with this image. I'm going to press control, of course, hit right and open in camera. And that will be pretty standard. So all of these images have already applied auto adjustments. That's why you will always be careful now, highlight shadows. You don't really need to go too far with here, with this, because those things were already adjusted. If you are going to redo it again, your color profiles might be not perfect. So that's why you mainly operate here with some contrast. Um, then, of course, some curve adjustments. I want to do more contrast. So like that. I like this soft contrast. So that's why I'm going this way. And let's see what else. And now I'm going to do something different, something that I didn't do yet. So I'm going to split tuning. And split tuning is really amazing when you need to add some visible effect like certain color to the shadows and certain color to the highlights and it's all the same as in Lightroom so if you're familiar with Lightroom you know how does it work so here we have the sunset we have some orange color coming from the highlights that is not really visible here and it settles on the shadows so that's why when you work with the colors you want to think of this what color suits and as you can see when I'm pushing the orange color for the shadows it's actually helping to this image so much so let's uh, add big amount of this and then for the highlights if we want proper sunset, of course, we'll go with warm color all the way. I think it might disturb some balance over here. So if you want to be secure, go with the opposite color. Opposite colors always work well on the image. And we are going to talk about this a little bit more uh, because this is a very important part to mention of every color grading to understand how does color works. You don't want to go with some random color. So for example, here, you don't want to go this way. It doesn't look nice. You might think um, it's some interesting trendy color, but the colors, the carmines needs to be preserved. So this is very important to use the colors that one are possible on the image and two, the colors that work well together with them. So we have orange and blue. They complement each other really well because they are on the opposite spectrum of the color wheel. Then, I uh, will go to hue saturation luminance. I will add a little bit saturation on the blue color. I will add a little bit saturation on the oranges, yellows, etc. So this image will be nice and saturated greens, of course. Uh, let's push uh, some other colors. So, you know, no matter which image you're going to use, it will be rich and saturated. Then hue. I want this guy maybe a little bit more in different hue. So now we change the blue and blue is very common color on all types of photography. So once um, you will apply this color profile to the blue, it will look this way. So I'm pretty much done and now I can save the color profile. So I'm going to preset panel. So the same place as always. I'm going to press Alt or Option, the same as before. And now let's name this orange. It's not necessarily orange tail, but similar. And number one. So I might change the name later. This is for now, for our understanding. This is first try of our orange and tail. And this is mainly for the sunset. So it's very rich. Uh, no reason to name this because we need to test the later if the profile works well. Let's check if everything is okay. Don't forget about the group. So Mars in color profiles course. This is the group. I'm saving it too. If you don't have it, of course, you don't have the same group. Hit OK. And profile is created. I can close this image. It will be simple. I will open this in the camera. 
and going to check. That's the previous one. I actually really like it. Look at this moody color, our previous color profile, and our our new color profile. You see, this color profile is actually very warm. I might uh, change the name a little bit from orange and tail to something closer to sunset, but both of the color profiles we created so far are really interesting and I do really like them. So that's another profile. And I'm going to stay with this lesson because I want to show more different possibilities and try on a few different images to make sure things look well. Let's see our profile that we just created on this image. I think it's okay. We'll try something similar now, maybe. Let's uh, start from the beginning. Uh, contrast. I think we can go further with the contrast. I feel uh, this profile we created is not very contrasty. So for this image, I'm going to try with stronger contrast. Although it's not necessarily suit to this image. So I'm going also to stick with curves a little bit more. I want to I want to do something more here. So that's why I'm actually trying to experiment more with curves. Look, uh, we get in this uh, magentic color, I would say, and yellows and blues for the highlights. I'm liking it. It's not as sharp, it's not as crispy. So uh, that's the one problem we will be facing here. But we might get somewhere. We might get to really nice position. And not too much of this. We're already getting quite an interesting colors here. There will be a few more things to do. I'm gonna increase the shadows. This is a rare thing I'm doing, but I'm gonna also increase the contrast here. So we are at this stage. And now let's go to hue saturation um, hue saturation luminance. I'm going to increase the saturation on blue and on oranges, which is a very common color, on some yellows as well. So mainly like tropical colors. Let's increase the greens. Let's increase the aquas. And also with the sky, I'm going a little bit more into the cyan color here. That's what I want. It's uh, look really interesting here. Even though this image is dark, it's a little bit more difficult to create profile over here. And we will see if the split tuning works well. Because we might go with something different here. Some uh, interesting, slightly balance. I felt we add a little bit too much maybe on the warm colors to the shadows. So let's see this because we have really a lot of warm color in the highlights. We might need to push this and I feel it works amazing. I'm gonna save it because I'm really happy with the result I got. So we are going to uh, presets, other option, hit on this. And this is orange and tail, but in reverse. Tail number two. I might actually call this Mauritius. Let's give to this profile the name of the location, actually. So you will know this is the kind of tropical island atmosphere here. Yeah. Groups, the same. Let's pay attention to everything. It's okay. I'm gonna hit okay now. I can close it and let's test on some other image. He tried opening camera and a little scared. It's even stronger. I actually like it more than the previous one I created. Pretty good way we are going. I'm happy. So to finish this lesson, maybe one more image uh, with some interesting lad because I want to give you as many different options as possible, uh, show you that you can experiment, you can check uh, the images here we have other really nice natural lake image, but we're doing these images before. So I'm going to 
try this image which has very similar color harmony to previous ones and I will open this in camera. It's very different location. Here I want to add more contrast to this image so I will have different variations. Of course again here more contrast. Let's try the red. I don't think we should apply the cold color to shadows but more of the warm color to shadows and some cyan to the highlights. Around this, I want to stay at this point now. What I want to do, I want to increase the saturation for the blue color. And this is something very rare, but I need to mention that we will decrease the luminance on the blue. Don't really go further than maybe minus 20 because it will not work on many images if you decrease the luminance. If you work with luminance too much, um, that's a risky road, you can do it, but that will be uh, not the best advice I would give you. So be careful with the luminance because, for example, sometimes you have quite dark blue sky, for example, quite saturated. If you will decrease luminance and you will apply this color profile, it might be too strong for some image. That's why I'm telling to you to be really careful with this. And I like the effect. Let's save it. And I'm gonna name this as the... maybe we can try also with split to new once again. And that will be orange and tail number two. I already feel it's very similar. So the same way. Range tail number two as the group the same as before okay and in this lesson we created three different color profiles we will be checking at the end if they match if they're okay i think that works pretty well i'm not huge fan of orange and tail number one doesn't represent too much so we'll see if I'm gonna preserve that in orange and tail number two. I think it's nice, strong, really rich colors. So you can see sky is visible, test number one. Not necessarily for this image, Mauritius also not necessarily for this image. So the atmosphere is very different. Now let's move to another lesson and I will try to show you something different, um, different options of creating color profiles and we will dive into LUTs because that's the other way how you can make your profiles even more advanced a little bit more complicated but the profiles that will give you a little bit more color possibilities than just creating them using only camera roll.